Detox teas and miracle supplements are bullshit. This Wednesday checkup is about to get heated. Jamila Jamil came after the Kardashians about these detox teas and I'm here for it. I get so angry when I see these mega companies who are making billions of dollars prey on the insecurities of young people, promise them nonsense, miraculous, snake oil-like shortcuts to lose weight, to look better, to have better skin and nails. It truly does upset me. Businesses should not make money at the expense of others like some of these companies are doing today. Boy, are these companies geniuses. They take a term like detox, which has a, a buzz sensation, which triggers in our minds as something positive, getting rid of toxins. The only thing that removes toxins from your body are your own organs, your lungs, your liver, your kidneys, amongst others. Supplements that you're gonna take are not gonna detox anything. That doesn't need to happen. You don't need to drink a detox tea to cleanse your body. This just is not based on any kind of scientific evidence. In fact, I'll tell you what these companies do and how they prey on you. They'll take an ingredient that exists in nature, so they call it natural. Natural does not mean safe. Arsenic is natural. It's not safe, it's poison. Second, these products are not cleared by the FDA. Supplements are not treated like pharmaceutical medications. They First of all, don't need to prove that they work. And second, they don't even need to prove that they're safe. The only time supplements are reviewed is after a negative outcome occurs. And with many of these supplements, this has happened. People get sick, their liver becomes inflamed, they get diarrhea, they get fatigue, their blood tests are all out of whack. The third way marketers take advantage of you is they take some fringe scientific research that was done only on a handful of people and they extrapolate it saying that it works for everybody and for everything which has never been proven to be the case. I'm not only upset with the marketers who are pushing the agenda of these companies, but also with the influencers who are not doing their due diligence when it comes to supporting these products. If you are blessed, like I am blessed, have a following on social media, and you're labeled an influencer, that means people look up to you. That means people care what you have to say. So take this opportunity to be a role model. Yes, we wanna make money, and it's good to make money. It's good to be financially independent and successful, but don't do it at the the expense of hurting others. Don't do it at the expense of fueling eating disorders. Jamila Jamil has it right. We should not be celebrating celebrities who are taking advantage of the system to make a quick buck at the expense of children. I never like to directly criticize anybody on my YouTube channel, but there was a quote that I recently read from Kim Kardashian saying how selling these types of supplements is an easy way to make money, and because of that, she has more time to spend with her kids. I find that quote reprehensible. I'm gonna be 100% transparent with you. All of these tea companies have reached out to me numerous times trying to get my endorsement for money. To have me tell you that these products are gonna help you lose weight, look great, feel more energized, suppress your appetite, I will not do that. It's not true. It doesn't hold up as fact, as science, and ultimately my job as a doctor, my responsibility is to you at home. Bad celebrity advice is one thing. I've written about that in the past for the American Academy of Family Physicians, and sometimes it's one of those situations where you have good intent with a bad outcome, they think they're doing something positive, but really because they're not properly educated on the subject, they're doing a huge disservice. But the bigger problem to me here is, is when these companies buy out medical professionals and they get them to claim that these products work. Don't you wonder why it is that so many doctors are selling supplements in their own offices? Because it's a great money maker. If you're watching this video and you disagree with me and you think these supplements work and detox teas are awesome, I wanna know where you're getting your research from, so jump into my comment section and show me why these supplements work and I'm wrong. Why is it that you think doctors like myself who spent 10 years studying medicine still recommends the hard work of diet and exercise and all these things, when there's a simple answer right there with a detox tea. Why don't I just recommend that? It seems so simple. In fact, I can sell it in my office and make money off of it. Why am I choosing to not advertise to you these products if I can make millions of dollars from it? Because of medical ethics. Because I believe that these products don't work. And in fact, science says these products don't work. Listen to science, he's a pretty smart guy. Remember, natural doesn't mean safe. Remember, supplements are not regulated by the FDA. Remember that the claims that these companies make can't be verified as fact because the research is so weak. And anyone who acts like they have all the answers when the rest of the scientific community has questions, that is an IKA expert. And if you wanna learn more about that, check out my TED Talk on marketing right here.